Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the Lenovo All-in-One and how to upgrade the hard drive. Um, yep, this is it right here. And all you really need is the Phillips head screwdriver. Now don't be too intimidated by it. Um, we just need to go all around, you know, the back. And um, let's start with going with that first. Let me show you here. So you take it around. Here. Just be really careful when you're messing with it, of course, because of the screen. The bezels do a great job on the back, but just be careful. Again, that screen is very fragile. So we need to start by removing this part. This is the back part, and the hard drive is actually right under here, this part in particular. So we want to start by um, removing that, and of course, we want to lift up the stand a little bit. And you can just pull down just on this part right here. Yep, it comes off just like that. Okay, there's no other screws needed um, at this point. Um, now, if you want to get some more room, I do recommend this. Um, we would want to remove, you can see here, or here's the hard drive. But you would want to pretty much remove the stand so you get a little bit more room here. So it will make it much more easier to work with. So let's do that. So there's uh, four screws. I'll show you right here. Here's one. And there's two. It's pretty much just on the two latch sides for um for both. Here, okay. And one more. And just be careful, otherwise it'll fall if you um if you don't hold it, of course, because it's gonna come down. All the screws come out. So there you go. There's a stand you can just put on the side there. All you need to do is remove the cables right here, take them out. Just like that. And now the hard drive will come if you just push it down. So all it is, it slides just like that. And then you take it out. And there it is. And that's it. And that's pretty much how you can replace it. Now you just put it back the same way you found it like that. Um, you can put it in a solid state drive if you want. But you got to make sure you have a bracket because this is mainly meant for a desktop. So, um, yep, just keep that in mind um, if you do want to get a, a hard drive that's that big. Um, but if you buy one at a store, usually for a laptop, you just need to get the bracket for it. So here, I'm going to show you a little bit how to pull it off. It's pretty simple right there. And there you go. There's a bracket. There's a hard drive. Okay. And that's it. So that's pretty much how to do it. Um, all right. So now we want to install the SSD. And I have one right here. Um, it's for laptops, of course, because I think that's pretty much the only size SSDs come in. Um, it's a 2.5 inch. Now you're saying how we're going to fit this in here, because this is a, a much smaller drive, and where the old one fit, that would fit right in there so easily. So actually, what we need to do is we need to get a bracket, um, and that would be one of these. It looks like now this is um, it's a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch bracket. And that's going to make it like a desktop size. So it's going to adjust the size there. Um, let's install it and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. So you always want to make sure too you install it the right way um, because it just won't fit. So um, you see the plug goes in this way right here. It looks fine. So we're going to be putting it in like this and it's all going to be under here pretty much like that. So all you need to do is um, it comes with this, the bracket comes with the screws. You can probably get them for maybe around like 10 bucks or something at Micro Center. Amazon, whatever. Um, so let's just put in the screws here. And they come with the screws, so you don't have to have anything else uh, once you do that. So there's a bunch of holes right here. And it just adjusts it. So you put on the top one. There's a, there's two um, adjustable ones you can do, but so it fits right in here. You just screw that in. And there's four of them just to pretty much hold it up. So let's screw that in, and then we'll get into it a little bit more. Okay, so right there, it's going to fit. Um, there's, there's the four screws that go around just to hold it up, give it some elevation, and kind of make it like a big um, uh, jack right there. So now what we want to do, this came out right here. Okay, okay. so now we want to do, we want to adjust this to fit this and everything. So it shouldn't be too bad. So it's just going to fit in. 
right here. So there's holes here. That's pretty much exactly how they fit. Um, there's these little these little dots right there, and then you just kind of line it up and adjust it to it. So it fits right in there, just like that. It fits just like a glove. You can feel it, which is get a good feel for all four holes to go in. There you go. So now it's adjusted to there. Look, it fits. It's not coming out or anything. And it's going to fit just the same way. Um, now we want to make sure we plug it in. Make sure it's the right way because if you plugged it upside down, you just have to do it again. But yep, so here, plugged in the cables. And now it's acting just like it did for the other one. And let's get it in there. Uh, make sure the cables are out a little bit. There you go. And that's how you change from a regular mechanical hard drive and upgrade to an SSD. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, and you have a good one.